Hi Aries, and this is your tarot yearly reading forecast with me. This is Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy dot com. So um, <laughs> this is very, very, very new for me. I really don't usually do this type of reading, but I would like to give you guys an overview on what you can expect throughout the year of 2020 per month. So this is basically picking up one card per month to give you guys information on what you can expect. So the main goal of this reading is to give you a general overview so that you can prepare or anticipate on what is to come for you in your life so that, you know, if there are challenges that can manifest for you, you will be able to know how to navigate that energy one way or another. Again, this is just a general overview, so it may or may not tune in for the rest of you guys, but it is meant to predict things on what is to happen for you. Just keep that in mind as a whole. So, um, our first card do you have the Empress card. And... This is the Empress showing herself nude in the image. And this is the card of abundance. You are receiving things, Aries. This is about attracting whatever you want, attracting all your desires as they come to life. So this could be a really wonderful year for those that are in the sign of Aries. You are going to be receiving a whole lot of things. There's just so much riches, abundance, and results that can come to your life that can make you really happy. Also, this can be a point wherein it's telling us that you might be entering a time wherein you are going to be giving in to your impulses and to your lustful desires and all of that and you might find yourself very attractive as well and you might find yourself that you know a lot of people are attracted to you they're just they just keep coming into your life and you might see that you know your year can actually be quite busy attending a lot of social gatherings and all of that but um yeah, this can also be a time that you might be focusing on yourself and having some form of power that you know you can attract everything in your life and you can reach and attain them. So there could be something happening on the month of January that can make that can really boost your your sense of confidence in life as a whole. And it's followed by the star card on February. So it's quite interesting that we have two nude cards all together. So this makes me feel that you are really working in on your impulses. There could be manifestations of your desires coming into life. You are enjoying life, Aries. And this could be you, you know, not even thinking about the worries of it of life you're just you know basking in in the energy of enjoyment and laughter and there's really a sense of ease and comfort here so maybe a wish was granted there is a full f fulfillment of wishes coming into life here so this is not about being with someone or not whether you're single or attached I kind of feel that this energy is more of you are enjoying life you can attract things in your life and with the star card here you are becoming hopeful and optimistic all at the same time everything is just happening in your way whether you have planned it or not everything is happening in the way that really benefits you as a whole. So we have here March. On March, you have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups comes with an offer or opportunity of some kind. Just like um, how this card is presented to us, it is a man riding his horse, offering with a cup and a lot of butterflies. So this could be an element we're in someone enters your life 
and they might offer you something. It could be a specific man, tech, uh, literally a man, or this could be、um, a news of some kind or a message that might sweep you off your feet in a romantic terms. Or this could be, you know, an idea can present itself to you or a news. But you need to be careful because this can be quite flowery if you understand what I mean. It means that the energy is very,、um, I don't know, it's like, okay, I want to get rich. I know if I do this, if I start this making money sheen, I will earn money. But you really don't know if you can trust that. There is no real context, no step by step process on how to achieve the goal. So you need to be careful of sudden decisions during this time. But、um, technically, this is a really wonderful card selling us that there is an opportunity coming your way. It could be someone entering your life that can become very special to you, or this person has a very important factor in your life. If this person becomes a person that is not to be trusted, if it's not, they, they did not really intend to do something to hurt you or anything like that. It's, it is quite unintended. If that makes sense, because this is the Knight of Cups. There is a form of innocence into this energy as a whole. So, with April, we do have this Six of Cups, and all sixes are meant to be harmonious energy. So, this is definitely another card of feeling good, feeling harmonious, feeling balanced as a whole. It has a very nostalgic energy to it. As you guys can see, it is a lady looking into、um, the reflection of the waters and looking into maybe reminiscing her past, a past lover of some kind. So maybe a past lover can enter back in your life, or you might be、uh, missing someone right now, or thinking about going back into someone, or just having some form of.、Um, Mem memory lane kind of energy coming through to you. It could be this person that comes into your life during March. And, you know, and on April, you guys find yourself together or, you know, getting back together, all those kinds of stuff. That can be、um, an energy alignment right there. And we have on. And May the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a point wherein there is a form of alliance that was made, and you are going to be celebrating that. Celebrate, celebration of an alliance can be a theme, or this can be just a situation that you are happy, everything is stable, everything is working in your life. Everything is all good, basically, is what this is really telling us. It's like a very peaceful time as well. This can also be a time wherein you have worked hard into something and now you are receiving the fruit of your labor. As you guys can see, this is the child and the dad, father who built the, the tree house, and they are celebrating that kind of energy. So,、um, yeah, it is really fun time. There is、um, stable. And harmonious time of the year for you, probably. <laughs> so, when, when June enters the scene, you will have this two of swords. Two of swords. So, this is a point of struggle or maybe a mental conflict of some kind. There could be a competition as well. Two of swords technically mean that. You might need to take an action, or there is a decision impending that you need to do, that you need to confront, that you need to decide upon. So, and this is also a reminder to pick your battles wisely. Should you really be arguing with someone, or should you be working with them? So, there is, you know, for me, 
this two of swords reminds us to to think carefully before we take action into things and make sure that it does not really go out of hand. The two of swords is a point wherein you're trying to stand your ground, but the circumstances that is surrounding your energy does not really allow that. It forces you to choose one thing and not to balance two things. So it has that form of energy. So um, just like the image gives us, there is a form of competition, a fighting going on. And this could be a literal fight with someone or this could be a fight within yourself. Maybe, you know, there is something that has, has been bogging your mind and you're trying to suppress that energy, but it is coming to a point wherein it has to be released. Something is exploding and blowing up out of proportion. So, and once July enters the scene, you do have this hangman. And if I go by um, the card setup we have over here, after a point of arguments and competition, you enter a point of isolation. Maybe someone has lost the fight. You might have won, you might have lost, but it will require you a form of um, reflection introspection and all those kinds of things like you guys can see the second half of his body is fr frozen and there is really nothing much that he can do is he gonna die or what um, that's another storyline but this is really more of a point that sometimes the only time you will be able to treasure your life or treasure the things that are really important to you is the time we're in where you are entering a crisis in your life. That is really just a time you are able to see things that you have not seen before. And that will make you, um, that can open up new ventures in your life. Um, that can open up new desires for you as a whole by looking into yourself, what you have done in the past. Did you make the right decision or not? There are, there are a lot of things that you need to reflect when this card comes up. And um, the next card that we have on August is we do have this Seven of Cups, which is a child dreaming with joy, grabbing hold of that kite that butterfly and just having a lot of fun it has pink tone to the energy here so this can be a time of great optimism you're really um enjoying life it's like you are entering a point of restart refreshing areas so maybe you know you might have realized something during July and you're finding ways how to enjoy life as you enter August. Or this can be a time wherein you, you're having issues when it comes to your priorities on what you need to focus on. Should you be focusing on the material side of life or should you be focusing on your, on your emotional side of life? So there is an area of are you thinking things carefully or just going by with your impulses? There is an energy that, you know, can question you regarding that. This can also be a time where in some form of ideas that can come up in your mind, which you can pursue to bring into your life. Because the next card that we have is the Magician card. And this is for the month of September, you have the magician. You might be starting something, implementing something, or making things happen. Magician card has a lot to do with communication as well. So uh, whenever I see the magician card, it can also have a lot to do with manipulation. But it does not always have to be manipulation in a negative way sometimes. It means that you're trying to make something happen in a way that benefits you. So um, as you guys can see, this is like um, 
this lady is like a shaman or a witch, uh, casting her circle, making something happen, creating something, creating some form of alchemy or something like that, some form of magic to come and bring it to life, that sort of thing. So I would say that you need to be careful of this card as well. There is positive and negative for this month because it can mean that there is so much things that can happen. New beginnings, a lot of communication, trades, markets can be booming and all of that. But it can be a form of manipulation as well. So you need to, you need to seriously take into consideration of morality issues during this time. Are you going to stoop so low to a attain something to to um to gain something or are you just gonna do things in natural and the right way so it has that kind of message to that so once we reach october we do have this queen of cups and there could be some form of pregnancy um, I will not be surprised if there is going to be pregnancy in the picture. We also have this um, Empress card at the start of the year. So with the Queen of Cups, this can be pregnancy or there could be someone specific in your life. A female figure in your life that can be important for you. This can also be a really very intuitive time. You might be waiting for something hoping for something to come into into the into place for the month of October, but it's going to be making you emotional and sensitive as well. You're not gonna be doing things. Um, you will be basically sensitive to the needs of others as well and your own needs. Maybe this is a time that can really make you feel very sensitive with your life and how you interact and engage with people around you. For November, you have the Knight of Swords, and this is the night we're in as if he is now ru rushing off, going to the battle. And of course, this person has the energy to fight for victory, to fight for what is right, fighting for victory. So there is a form of action here. Also, it could be an essence wherein you might be feeling attacked or you are attacking someone. So there could be sharp words that can come into the surface of things. So you need to be careful of that. And also, you need to be careful of not um, saying things upon impulse and hurting someone else. Because um, the last card you have here is the Five of Pentacles. So this is a card wherein maybe someone is left out in the cold. Um, it could be you are left out. But I would say that uh, there is a form of regret on this energy. That is quite different with the Five of Cups. Five of Cups can clearly give you an emotional regret. But this is like telling us that... Um, it will make you question if you have handled everything in your life in the right way or not. You guys can see that there is, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but um, he's hiding in this big mushroom over here and he has a few coins with him, but it was deemed useless. It's, it's something that he cannot use. Maybe there is a lack of money, lack of abundance. Or maybe he has used a lot of those monies um, and wasted them. And when they need, when he needed to purchase something or use it for some emergency, he doesn't have any any resource to, to use. The mushrooms are all about Mushrooms are good. They are a symbol for medicine. You know, they, we always use mushroom as a herbal medicine. But at the same time, mushrooms, you know, can, if you take in a mushroom 
without really much research and thought about things, without wisdom and knowledge, you might be eating a toxic mushroom that can poison you or even kill you. You know, those kinds of things. So I kind of feel that this is telling us that you need to take in carefully the things that you are doing. This could be a reminder that for you to not be this five of pentacles, you need to take into consideration and how you should be handling your relationships, your your resources, you know, um, the contacts that you have made. Don't just try to fight with people. As you guys can see here at the top, it has the two of swords, and here there is a, a knight of swords. So it kind it makes me feel that even though this is made for a specific month, it makes me feel that there is an energy as if there were arguments and attack and being attacked that leads to this five of pentacles so you need to be careful of that as well and if you know the rider weight i don't really have my rider weight deck with me right now so i can't show you but the normal image of that rider weight is that there there are two people out in the cold trying to fight trying to fight to survive but they are together. It's like fighting together through thick and thin. It is hard, but they are together. But with this card, he is alone and left out. He has money. He is not sick, you know? He's not crippled, but there's nothing much that he can do. Even though that he has the capacity to do so. So... It raises a, a, lot, a lot of questions here because it makes me feel that, you know, maybe this person is regretting things or have lost his or partner or, or someone that is supporting him um, left them or something like that. And right now, it because of a re very reflective phase wherein it, make, it raises that question wherein I, have I done the right thing or not? Those kinds of things. So I would say that it has a lot to do with your impulses. Impulses to argue, impulses to leave someone behind, impulses in choosing to, to benefit something. Maybe, you, you know, you have a lot of money with you, but it's not something that can really make you happy. Maybe it did make you happy the moment that you chose money over love. But right now, it will give you an energy we're in. It's, maybe it's, not, it's something that will not fulfill you, that kind of energy. So yeah, it raises a lot of questions with that. And I did pick up one last card. You do have the King of Swords over here. So... And this King of Swords is going to be more of the message that you need to know to help you. It's like the Guidance card for the entire year of 2020. And this King of Swords is holding a book. So it is telling us that wisdom and knowledge is very important to him. And he is not one that will take action from impulses. He's not the type to do that. So this is the type of man that takes everything into practicality, has an authority type of energy to it. So all his decision making is not by impulse. In fact, this is the type of person that is not going to, to take action or do anything from impulses. This is a person that learns from mistakes of the past and learns what is working and what does not work. So maybe there is a message here that you should not be very impulsive with your actions if you don't want to be this five of pentacles or if you don't want to lose the people that are really important to you. This is a time that you might have a chance to correct things and to, you know, to handle things in a more mature way. And that is really the goal here for you Aries so um yeah I guess this is it for the reading just a general overview
for you guys. I hope that this can help you on your way to the year of 2020. And if you'd like a personal meeting with me, just check out the description below this video. All informations are there down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so right now. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I post and upload videos like this. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.